Hi guys, Virtus Education here with the 19th video of the Unreal Development Kit Beginner Series. And in this video, it is time to get back to some of the sort of level design stuff and away from the material editor at last. In this video, I'm going to be going over volumes inside of UDK. So these are essentially a sort of area where a special effect is actually applied to. That effect isn't something like particle systems, it's more of, um, you know, it's not really a way I can explain it, but there's it's just essentially an area where a special effect is applied to it, ranging from a gravity effect, um, a post-processing effect, and so on and so forth. There is tons and tons of uh, different volumes inside of UDK uh, that I cannot list. So having said that, uh, I just want to explicitly um, put this disclaimer out there, there is tons and tons of volumes inside of UDK, and I won't necessarily be able to go all, uh, over all of them, and I'm only really going to be able to go over the ones that, uh, are the most important, and, uh, I've chosen those based on, uh, personal experience with UDK, and, uh, yeah, these are, I'm only gonna be going over the ones that I've actually used personally, or felt the need to actually use, so, uh, having said that, let's begin. Let's just go through, uh, how to actually get to, uh, volume, so. Firstly, let's just go ahead and, uh, look for it, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Left-hand side, big text saying volumes. We don't want this, we don't want special brush, we actually want the add volumes. So, let's just go ahead and, uh, press G here to go back into our normal view. And if we actually right click this little volumes button here, you can see we've got a crazy array of different volumes that we can actually use. And, uh, you know, it's gonna take a really, really long time to go over all of these. So having said that, you know, I kinda just justified, uh, my usage of, uh, just these select few of volumes. So, let me just go over the different volumes which uh, we actually have here. Keep in mind, I'm not necessarily going to be showing you how to use many of them, but uh, those that I don't, I might even use in a in a, a future tutorial. For example, the water volume. So let's just go ahead and uh, have a quick review of the different volumes that I'm going to be going over. So firstly, we have a blocking volume. This is essentially a volume where there is collision. Collision uh very similar to what I actually showed you in one of my previous videos in the sense that if you walk into it it's just gonna block you and it's stopped and uh the little brackets uh with DV inside of it, it just means that uh, there is actually a dynamic um a dynamic variant of this so you can actually move it inside of matinee. Um by dynamic I just mean you know, any dynamic volume inside of uh, here can actually be modified and moved using Unreal Script Matinee or whatever you like to uh, use. So the next is gravity volume, which is essentially an area where, you know, the gravity can be manipulated. So you can see in my scene here, I've got something big and white. That wasn't an innuendo, <laughs> but anyway, I've got something big and white here in the form of a volume. So I can actually show you what a volume is, and uh, most importantly, a gravity volume. So I've walked into it, nothing special happened, but watch what happens when I actually jump here. So I jump and I go up crazy high, and uh, if I walk out of this volume, jump normally, nothing happens. So you know, it kind of shows you exactly what volume does. It isolates, uh, it isolates a specific area and then allows you to apply an effect to it. Pretty simple. So, what is the next volume we have on our list? Uh, we also have a ladder volume, which essentially allows you to put a volume uh, up an object when a player tries to look up and uh, and walk. It will actually make them climb up it so to speak it usually works best with some kind of ladder mesh or something keep in mind it won't play an animation or anything crazy like that we also have something called a level streaming volume i might go over this uh in a in a, a specific video in the advanced series but um yeah a level streaming volume is essentially a volume in which i can isolate a specific part of the level to be streamed in at will i also have a uh, a path blocking volume which is essentially a a uh, a volume that um you know 
blocks paths. So when you're actually doing AI and stuff using path nodes, this is kind of a this is kind of a no go uh, no go zone. You know, they're just gonna have to walk around it. They can't actually go inside of it. The next is a portal volume. This is essentially a type of volume where if you walk into it, it can take you to a different area. Uh, I'm not necessarily gonna show you how to set it up. I haven't actually played around with it too much myself, but that's essentially what it does. A reverb volume. This is actually for sound effects inside of UDK so if you actually go inside of the area you can modify the reverb and you get some sort of different sound effect for example oh oh hey guys I'm Luke oh hey guys I'm Luke cuz I'm 12 now uh, you know yeah, anyway it's kinda of, you kinda of get my point anyway the next is a uh, a trigger volume inside a UDK. This is essentially a volume which can trigger something similar to an event in programming so if you actually have your uh, trigger volume set up you can actually use it inside of kismet to fire off an action or you can actually fire off something using unreal script the programming language inside of udk the next is an auto crouching crouching volume pretty self-explanatory it just makes you automatically crouch water volume allows you to float and uh you take and um you take damage if you stay inside of it because you know you can't breathe kill volumes it essentially just kills you straight away and uh, a slime volume similar to water however it you can't move very fast and uh, it periodically damages you whether or not you're actually above the water so that's the uh, that is essentially my um explanations of these different volumes so now i'm actually going to show you how to put one into use so I'm just going to delete my big white thing there. <sighs> yeah, my <laughs> big white thing is gone. And uh, let's actually show you how to use a volume. So I'm just going to drag my BSP brush over to wherever I want to place my volume inside of UDK. So I'm just going to dump it here. And I'm actually going to select a volume. So I'm going to be choosing a um, a blocking volume to start with. So if I move this, you can see there's this little uh, box which shows exactly where my volume is. So if I press play now, if I try and run into it, it's going to essentially be an invisible wall. There we go, look it stops me. Watch when I jump into it. There we go, pretty much dead stop. And I can do pretty much the same with uh, pretty much any volume. It just goes wherever you uh, tell it to via your BSP brush. So let's just go ahead and create another volume. So this time I'm going to be using a gravity volume. Uh, you can select these just by click, uh, set, uh, <laughs> sorry, you can uh, actually select and modify the properties of these volumes by uh, clicking it. Just click the little line here or the vertices, whatever. Right click it and go to properties. And obviously you're going to have a bunch of parameters associated with each and every different volume that you have. So for the gravity volume, I'm just going to go ahead and set this to zero and you'll get that effect that I actually showed you earlier. So um, let's do this. There we go. Cool gravity. Pretty badass. But you know, that's essentially how you uh, work with volumes inside of UDK. Um, really what I can advise is just make a whole bunch of different volumes, especially the ones that I showed you on my little special list here. Play around with them, see what they do. Um, and, uh, you know, don't forget I will also be outlining a few specific volumes in my later videos where uh, I actually have to use them. For example, the water volume will be in uh, will be used in the next few videos, and uh, the same with the post processing proce uh, post processing volume, which I don't think I actually have on here for some reason. But uh, anyone's anyway, going to quickly explain that, and I'm going to end off the video. A post processing volume is essentially an area where a special, like on-screen layered effect, uh, can be applied uh, in the form of post processing. So you can actually color grade it or do any of that weird stuff. So thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.